this is take like 80 million, I know. Uh, response to the shift, purging emotions, letting go of resistance, and co creating the golden age. Uh, L, Leisure, uh, listen, I gotta tell you, I disagree with uh, something you fundamentally said, which is. Actually, scratch that. I disagree with something you didn't say. Because it implies that it isn't essential. I find it is. Psychics that I know talk about intentioning, and they say to intention from the heart, not from the head. That my, I always say the mind sees, the heart feels. If you want to get a solid intention, you can't see things. You've got to feel them. You've got to say, how does it feel when I get that parking space I want at work? Not, what is it going to look like when? That's why I don't like people with these vision boards with the intention and stuff, because it creates a snapback. The mind can't create something without creating its opposite in equal, equal or doubly equal um, amount. So, when you say it's you should go out to nature and imagine golden light and connect and purge your emotions. That's all fine and good. Yet if you go back to creating from the mind, creating from the mind the life around you with this big emotional escape valve, then the only thing that's going to go forward consistently, which is your emotions, is going to be the emotions of uh, purging your stuff. I have, for want of a better word, faith that things come into your life to teach you things and for a purpose. Now, you don't know what that purpose is. Uh, if you've ever watched an episode of MacGyver, you know that you can find many, many, many purposes for simple everyday items. And quite frankly, I think that you've got a good first step. However, it's part of a much bigger, bigger, much bigger process you've got to find a way to create a life from your heart and maybe going out to the woods and crying should be step one because you're letting the stuff you create with your mind with its big nemesis force which might actually just be your heart you're letting it crumble and as long as you hold on to that to design pain someone once said pain comes from wishing something was other than it is however pleasure comes from appreciating things for what they really are. And that last bit is a tricky bit. Anyway, I hope this has been educational. Feel free to look into Alchemy. Uh, there's a great Wikipedia article on it, just for the breakdown of the essential uh, elements. I'm Mozzie Griffin, and I hope you do have a great 24-hour period.